Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Nadic and Shoka. This is a game from French team championship played in 2018. Nadic had white pieces and he started with e4. Shoka played g6, d4. Bishop to g7, knight to c3, d6. The Pirts defense. Bishop to e3, the standard move. a6, preparing b5. Maybe. a4. b6, queen to d2, bishop to b7, h4, the standard plane. Knight to f6, f3, preparing g4. Knight to c6, g4. And Shoka played h6. Knight to g2. If h5, then g5. And if g5 is played, then pawn takes pawn on g5. Back to our game. So, Nidic played knight on g to e2. e6, bishop to h3, queen to e7. Perhaps even planning to castle the queen side. Of course, castle and king side is not recommended, is it? If castle and king side, then bishop takes on h6. Back to our game. Queen to e7 was played. g5. h takes on g5. Bishop takes on g5, pinning the knight. Queen to d7 and pinning. And knight ditch castled queen side. Black to move. Knight to a5 was played, intending knight to c4. Shoka considered castling queen side and didn't like d5. And if knight to e5, the knight to d4. And this position favors white. Back to our game. Knight to a5 by Shoka. b3 preventing knight to c4. d5. Knight to f4. Queen to d6. It looks like that black queen may go to a3. What should white do? Knightich wasn't worried about this. He played rook from h to e1, lining his rook with the black king. How important is this move? d takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. F takes on e4. Queen to a3, check. King to b1. Knight to c6. One of the threats is bishop takes on d4. And another one is knight to b4 and then queen to a2, check, mate. How should white continue? What would you do? Knightich played. An awesome move, and that is knight to d5. Amazing, carefully calculated move by Nidic. Black to move. Bishop takes on d4 was played. If e takes on d5, then e takes on d5, and white is winning. So we have bishop takes on d4. Black is threatening. Queen to b2 checkmate. What now? How would you continue now? Knightich played. Knight takes pawn on c7 check. King to f8. White to move. There is no time to take the rook because black is threatening checkmate on b2. How would you continue now? Knightich played. Knight takes on e6 check. What a powerful knight. F takes on e6. What else? If king to g8, knight takes on d4. And after knight to b4, c3. And white is winning. Back to our game. White to move. How would you continue now? Knight which played queen to f4 check. King to e8. Rook takes on d4. Knight takes on d4, queen to e5, forking the rook and the knight. Black's position has fallen apart. Rook to f8, queen takes on d4, rook to c8. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is, bishop takes on a6, shocker resigned in shock. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. 
which line should I pick? White is threatening queen to d7 checkmate and how to defend against that? If rook to c7 then queen to d8 check mate. Wow, that was an awesome attack by Nidic. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.